Hey, what's up everybody, Andrew Gaming here. Today, I'll be looking at some of the worst games ever made. When making this list, I used articles online, other top 10 lists, and my own personal opinion. With that in mind, I hope you enjoy as I count down the top 10 worst video games of all time. I hope you enjoyed the video, and with that said, let's begin. Number 10. Pac-Man Atari 2600 version. With Pac-Man being one of the biggest arcade games ever made, Atari wanted to capitalize on its success with their home console. Believing that the name alone would sell the game, Atari released an absurdly large amount of Pac-Man games, one of which was an unfinished early prototype version of the game, which featured awful sound effects and some painful to look at flickering ghosts. Number 9. Link, The Faces of Evil, and Zelda, The Wand of Gamelon. After Nintendo decided to partner up with Philips to create a CD-based console, they also allowed the Philips company to use the characters in the Legend of Zelda games. However, Philips decided to create their own console, and with the Zelda license in their hands, they decided to create these two similar, yet equally terrible video games. You're not afraid of dragons, are you? Of course not! Then get my necklace back from Gliok, okay? Pretty please? The controls were very stiff, the combat was boring, and there's also the painful to watch cutscenes. You can't kill me! No! 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 Number 8. Bubsy 3D The original Bubsy games were nothing special, and its jump to 3D is possibly worse than all the original games combined. It had stiff controls, a very awkward camera when platforming, and really lackluster gameplay. Number 7. Drake of the 99 Dragons Originally, the game was very promising, and many people were expecting it to become one of the biggest franchises ever. There was even plans to have a comic book tie-in, but then the game actually came out. The gameplay was completely awful, and featured such mechanics as a camera that seems to have mind of its own, and a lock-on mechanic that didn't lock on. Oh, and in terms of character and story, the main character kills himself several times throughout the game. Number 6. Aquaman Battle for Atlantis this game had nauseating camera controls, and its gameplay mainly consisted of find enemy, fight enemy, and repeat. Oh, and if you wanted to explore, you can't, as there are invisible walls everywhere with zero indication. Number 5. Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric Sonic 06 may be pretty bad, but at least it has okay looking graphics and one of the best songs in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. Frame rate issues, an embarrassingly large amount of bugs and glitches, and awful dialogue are all featured in this game. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm pretty sure it's a bad thing. Its gameplay is lackluster, and for a next-gen Sonic game, its graphics look awful. And fun fact, this is currently the worst-selling Sonic game in the franchise. Number 4. Big Rigs Over the Road Racing in this game, you can drive through anything and everything, as the collision detection is non-existent. Also, depending on what version of the game you have, your opponents may not move at all, or you can be declared the winner before you even cross the finish line. Also, what may be the worst part of the game is that the one and only sound effect is this. Number 3. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde Featuring completely awful gameplay, when you play as Dr. Jekyll, your main weapon doesn't even work, which makes the game incredibly difficult. And when you play as Mr. Hyde, your main weapon doesn't even shoot straight, and the game kills you if you progress too far. What an absolute joke. Number 2. E.T. the Extraterrestrial This game was created in only 6 weeks to meet a Christmas deadline and its low time in development definitely shows. The game's map is filled with holes, both visible and invisible. It's often credited as the game that nearly destroyed the gaming industry, but I will note that that information is incorrect. The notion that E.T. caused the demise of Atari is simply stupid. It's just stupid. However, even with this information, the gameplay is still lackluster, and the game sold very poorly and many of its copies ended up in a New Mexico landfill. Number 1. Superman Often referred to as Superman 64, mainly because the developers forgot to put the name of the game on the box art, 
which just shows how little they cared about this game. This game is well known for its exciting gameplay, like flying through rings, and flying through rings, and flying through rings. You get the idea. If that wasn't bad enough, the game has an extremely unforgiving time limit and has some of the most bugs and glitches in video game history. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and what's the worst game you've ever played? Are there any games you think should have been included in the list? Let me know in the comments. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you want to support the making of future videos, then please don't forget to click the membership button. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ha 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 